Okay, so I told you I would walk you through the uh, online application stuff for Amarillo College and for the Health Science Central application area. And if you go scroll back up in the application packet to uh, part two, where it talks about the applying for Amarillo College, you'll see a website there, a hot link you can click on, and it'll take you to the Amarillo College application area. Uh, or alternately, and maybe a bit more conveniently, you can go on to the Health Science Central application uh, click on that hot link and it takes you here and you see this first page here and the first thing we see here actually it doesn't show up very clearly as a hot link but it is here we can go to the Amarillo College general application straight from here so it maybe kind of saves you a step before we go there we do have a few steps here that that this talks about it's talked about you'll be asked to send in transcripts to the registrar's office and again those are where you send in official transcripts as opposed to maybe unofficial transcripts or scanned images of your transcripts uh, in the previous part one uh, of your application process. Then it talks about specific program requirements, which is basically what I've been talking you through, is all of our specific program requirements that I make you do in addition to all this stuff. And then there's the Texas immunization requirements. And again, you uh, this is pretty typical. You may need to do some more stuff in your state, but I really haven't encountered states that do more than this. Uh, as far as immunizations other than also uh, you're going to be required to do flu shots when you get accepted into the program but don't worry about that for now because it's too early to do those then there's the waiver form I already talked about the waiver form and my uh, that way it makes me crack up and the background check again it you may be kind of it may mislead you a little bit to thinking you have to do the background check as a part of this application process but you typically don't uh, unless your hospital, if you're from out of state in your hospital or, or whatever requires you to do a background check before you do your job shadow, you don't have to do this stuff. So let's go back up to this hot link for the Amarillo College general application and see what it looks like. So I click onto that and here's our application website for Amarillo College and you can either do it online. There's something called the Texas Common Application where if you live in the state of Texas, you can go here and basically apply to any and all public colleges and universities in the state of Texas through one co common area and it basically you basically kind of pick and choose which colleges you want to submit it to. Uh, it's, I think it's a little more convoluted and detailed process than what is really necessary. They talk about you know some of the colleges require essays and stuff and so you may be thinking I have to do essays. <laughs> Amarillo College does not require essays. Yay! So I really think a simpler version is to just click and download a paper application and then print it, fill it out, and send it from there. So let's click on and see what this looks like. Okay, so the PDF version is what we want. And it's just a standard application. It's just like two pages long. I mean, it looks like some fine detail, but it's basically just a where do you live, how can we contact you, what's your email address, uh, your pertinent information, and some check boxes about this, that, and the other, establishing residency and all that stuff. So you just send this stuff in. And then you'll want to send in your transcripts along with this in a big envelope. You know, just keep your trans your official transcripts sealed up, preferably, and then send it along with this. I think you'll probably be prompted to do that. And boom, that's all there is to that. And again, within three to ten business days, you'll begin a letting be getting a letter from the college saying, "Yay, you're accepted into Amarillo College." Uh, again, meaning that you still have to apply for the radiation therapy program and be accepted separately to the radiation therapy program. So anyway, getting back to our Health Science Central application area, uh, click into where it says Login for AC students only. Then enter. Uh, once you get accepted to the college, you'll get uh, an AC net ID stuff and your password. So I'm going to enter mine. And you, this takes you to a page. Usually you won't have any of this stuff here the first time you apply. Uh, but one, it, <laughs> the first thing you want to do is actually click on to apply. But I want to kind of reinforce this too, and I actually kind of did this on purpose. It looks like I've got two applications for Tony Tackett, and that's because what I what happens a lot with students that I wanted to show you, so you can maybe avoid it, is once you click in to apply the first time, it creates this stuff for you, and then from here on out, anytime you want to kind of 
uh, access that stuff that you've started if you have started your application but haven't finished it then go into my applications if you click apply again it creates another you and the stuff that you uploaded from the first one doesn't get into the second one it's kind of sees it like two different people so yeah, yeah that's kind of confusing so uh, you want to avoid that so apply the first time than my applications every time thereafter. But I'm going to click on to apply just because I need to start a fresh one so you can kind of see what it looks like whenever you start a brand new one. So I'm going to have a third one that shows up there. So just fill in all this stuff and I'm going to click pause while I fill in all this contact information. So I filled in my contact address and stuff it's seen up above uh, and I'm just kind of scrolled down. Have you ever been made application to Emerald College Health Science programs before? We'll say no, I haven't done this before. And then from here you can drag over it doesn't really say this in a, uh, the best of way, but you just click on to radiation therapy, hold on to it, and drag it over into there. And you can apply for up to three different programs if you want to, and the order that you put them in is the order. I'm just not going to do that because I just want to do radiation therapy. But uh, you can apply for up to three different programs, and the first one you pull over is kind of your top priority one. Then you can list any scholastic honors that you've had, list any professional licenses or certifications held. I'm just going to say I didn't have any, so I'm just going to click to continue. Then here's that release and waiver of liability form that I alluded to. So you'd say, you can chuckle to yourself, you know, radiation, and say, okay, uh, do you want to select yes? Because no means that you stop the process, basically. It means you don't accept it. Click to continue. Oath of confidentiality. Something I'll mention again when we talk about the job shadow is that whenever you work with patients, you cannot talk at all about patients in front of anybody else at home or uh, if you're going out or to family members. The only time you can talk about patients is when, you're, when it's necessary in the patient care setting to the people that are giving care to the patients. You can't go home and say, I saw Mr. So-and-so today at the clinic. You can't give any uh, information that that would identify a person. You can talk about like, oh, we I saw a breast cancer patient today or something like that, or I saw a lung cancer patient, but you can't give any information that could possibly identify the patient. That's a big, big no-no. That's actually like a jailable offense with a huge fine as well, so you want to recognize that. Medical insurance coverage. This basically states that with the Affordable Care Act, that people are supposed to have insurance and you're aware of that and you're supposed to have that insurance. Uh, you're supposed to have insurance in one way, shape, or form. Click to continue. Criminal background check. Again, this looks like it's making you say that you're going to do this right now, but it's really just saying you're aware that you have to do this at some point. So you go, okay, yeah, submit. And then from here on the left side area, there's like a little menu of things that you've clicked onto already, like your oath of confidentiality. You've already said yes to that. But if you want to go back to that, you can click onto there and go back to it and check no if you want to just stop the process. You don't, I don't know why you'd want to do that. <laughs> but at any rate, this kind of allows you to edit some of the things you've already done or add to some things like edit immunizations and whatnot. So you're going to be prompted to do those as well. But really, uh, uh, well, let's go to the edit immunizations and just take a look. So the immunizations, I've already uploaded some files. What you can do is, once you've scanned in like your immunizations, you can click Choose a File. Then find that file and just double click on it. And Upload Files. And boom, that's all there is to it. So that's pretty easy. Click to continue. So it takes me back to this page where I was after I edited my immunization. So that's how you kind of edit and upload stuff. So you want to go maybe to where it says program requirements, because that's the radiation therapy requirements. And sad to say, this is a little bit redundant because this is the health form. And this form is actually going to be deleted here in the near future. So don't worry about information acknowledgement form. And then the keywords form. So this is going to be where you can upload some of these forms here. So you just kind of pick one of these things. Actually, I clicked on it and it showed me the actual form. So there's a little drop down box here. You can kind of pick whichever one you want to uh, upload like the keywords form. That's the main one that we're really looking at for here. Then you'll be you can choose the file and upload the files just like we saw a little bit earlier. And once you do those, then you're going to be done with that part of the application process. And once you finish that process, then you're going to be done with the central application. You'll get that email from Amarillo College saying you're done with the health science central application. Then you send that to me, and then you finished part two basically. Yay! Speaking of finished. That's pretty much it for showing you how to apply in the Online Health Science Center. So let's give you your last keyword. Actually, this, could, this is your 
third keyword in in this section. Even though I've got two videos talking about all this stuff, it should be noted in the area where you're uh, where you found these videos that there's basically two videos that address application procedures part one. And so this is so this is actually pr application procedures part two. Uh, Oh, dang it. I really should have given some more keywords earlier on. Well, let me give you a keyword. <laughs> How about, oh, this is a great keyword for Emerald College, Badger. Emerald College actually has a mascot. And we used to have actually a competitive, especially a basketball team way back in the day. But uh, we don't do competitive sports at Emerald College anymore. But our mascot is still the Badger. So that's our keyword for this one, Badger, B-A-D-G-E-R. Thank you. Next up is talking about student selection criteria, how we pick students for our program. Yay!